Hi guys, I'm Ben from Adapt Looks, and welcome back to the monthly macro challenge where we set a theme and you guys can enter some of your macro photography for a chance to win some really cool prizes. I'll tell you exactly how to enter uh, towards the end of the video, but for now we need to take a look at some of the entries for last month's theme, which was photography gear. So we're here on the Adapt Looks Photography community group on Facebook and we're looking at the monthly macro challenge post for March. Uh, so this is pinned at the top of the page and there'll be a brand new one uh, for this month's theme which I'll talk about in just a little while. For now we've got lots and lots of entries, lots of macro photos of your photography gear. Uh, thank you to everybody that took the time to enter some images. Unfortunately we don't have time to get through them all in these videos but we're going to take a look at some of our favourites and of course pick a winner and a runner-up. So let's kick things off with uh, the photography community. So we've got Sue's image here using a lens ball to take a picture of either a phone screen or a, um, or a laptop screen uh, with the photography community in the background. We thought this was quite fun and uh, very well thought out trying to, uh, to get us to pick this image being that it's us. Uh, so very well done Sue. Thank you for starting us off with a fun little image. Next up we've got another Sue, Sue Day this time, using her Adapt Look Studio to create this lovely um, starburst in the middle of her lens. She's shining a red LED lighting arm through the middle of the lens here, which is creating this lovely effect. Um, and you can tell that there's an Ad Adapt Look Studio behind there because these are recognizably the legs of the stabilizer. Uh, so very well done Sue for uh, not only incorporating your photography equipment, but also incorporating the Adapt Look Studio as well. Next up, we've got Dustin's image here of the dreaded fingerprint on the lens. Uh, we really like this image, uh, not only for the nice soft focus and composition with that um, plane of focus sort of going diagonally across the image, but also for that little hint of color created by uh, the coatings on the lens. Uh, we thought that was really nice. And the detail on that thumbprint is also really nice and sharp. So very well done, Dustin. Thank you for your entry. Next we've got a little fun one from Bev of cyclists going round in a circle uh, on the end of a filter. Uh, this one's actually really fun, really creative and just a little bit whimsical so we really like that. Uh, very well done Bev, thank you for your entry as well. Next up, Leah is introducing a little bit more color, well, a lot more color actually. We've got a blue and a red light here um, intersecting in the middle and creating this lovely gradient and a nice hue across the entire image. It really catches the eye and brings a little bit more to just your plain shot of the front of a lens. So very well done, Leah. Uh, we really liked the colors. We really liked your image. Thanks for your entry. Last but not least for our notable entries, we've got Rachel who has again gone for a blue and a red theme to the image, uh, creating that gradient across the front of this knob, uh, which is actually part of a focus rail apparently, so uh, not a very commonly seen or photographed piece of equipment and a really nice image as well. Thank you for your entry, Rachel. Now Rachel is actually our runner up for this month as well with her photo of uh, this lens baby crystal which um, produces all of these amazing colors when you introduce a little bit of light um, but it's those really sharp fine lines between all of the different surfaces on the crystal and of course the colors that we think really makes this image. It's a little bit different, uh, it's not what we were expecting when we said uh, photography equipment but it does count, it is used for photography uh, so very well done Rachel, you're this month's runner-up. For our winning image this month it has to be Scott's photograph of the top of his very old very dirty camera. We think this uh, shows off a lot of detail and a lot of the reality of what happens to our equipment over time as it gathers dust and grime and dirt and if you don't keep everything nice and clean um, it will start to look grubby but the sheer amount of detail and sharpness here in this image is really eye-catching that little dash of um, orange color on the dial and then down on this little dial as well we think that really catches the eye and it's overall just a really nice image very well done Scott you're this month's winner 
Well done once again to our winners and thank you to everybody that took the time to enter last month's challenge. But we are heading into April now, it's a new month and we need a new theme and of course some new prizes. Now because uh, there's been a lot going on in the world in the past month, we thought it would be um, a good opportunity to show a little bit of support for the people of Ukraine. So the theme for April is going to be the Ukrainian flag colours including the blue and the yellow from the Ukrainian flag in some macro photography and showing them off online will hopefully bring just a little bit more awareness to the suffering and hardship of the Ukrainian people over the past month. A new month means new prizes, so for our first prize winner this month we're going to be giving away both of our clip-on phone macro lenses. That gives you uh, a lot of different options for trying out macro and taking it on the go. Our runner-up is going to be getting one of our mini tripods which are also great for mounting phones and cameras and lighting all the same. We'll be picking a winner and a runner-up uh, at the end of the month, by which time hopefully the conflict will have been resolved. Um, but until then, you have one month to go over to the Adapt Looks Facebook community page, which I'll link down in the description. Uh, you need to find the pinned post on the top of the community and you need to enter your images as a comment on that post. So while you're doing a little bit of macro photography over the next month, uh, why not try to include those uh, colours of the Ukrainian flag and show a little bit of symbolic support for the people of Ukraine. If you need a little bit of inspiration on what, what you might want to photograph, I'll link a couple of videos just here. And all that's left for you guys to do is hit the subscribe button so that you're here in a month's time when we reveal the winners. That is all that I've got time for for now. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.